Welcome back trainers and the Celebi quest has begun and I am stuck like everybody else because there is a specific spot where you have to catch three Pokemon in three different days. Yeah, I'm not here to complain. It is what it is. And we're going to take a look at all the tasks thanks to GoHub's article. We're going to go look at that. I know we just went over it. That was the pre, you know, getting ready. We saw that we needed the evolution items and also evolve Espeon and Umbreon. So if you listened to me in the past in the videos where I was saying you better walk an Eevee to get ready because you're probably going to have to evolve into Espeon and Umbreon, two thumbs up. Congrats, you're ready to go. But the thing is, the whole stall for the day, now that we know what the quests are going to be since they have been revealed, it's kind of like, oh, okay, well, you can walk your Eevee now, no rush. Uh, and just take note, there's going to be other stall progresses down the line another catch a pokemon it could be probably five days uh it's just niantic's way of saying hey i don't think so you're not gonna get this one in a 24 hours or less okay <laughs> so uh yeah you know it is what it is but it's just kind of a big like wow stall and what was going on there just now was i was in my house when this event first just dropped i was getting ready uh, and I ran out to my car, forgot to disconnect from my Wi-Fi, and uh, that's what I was doing. So anyways, we're going to take a look at a few others claiming my rewards here. And like I said, we're going to go into GoHub and look at all of the tasks so you know exactly what you need to do ahead of time. So, yeah, you have to also add three new friends. Uh, that was pretty neat. I put out a tweet. Thank you to everybody who responded. I added several people, and uh, I got a, it was like 60 requests in just a few seconds right after I tweeted it I was so amazed uh, there was like no likes on the tweet I was like I bet you they're more focused on getting the friend code up or something or adding me before they like the tweet and then all of a sudden BAM so that was completed added some new friends and I'm all done with that I suggest you send a gift just to make sure because I added two people and it wasn't like going through I was just sitting there on the screen just looking at it like you must be joking for the three days and this one is evolve an evolved grass Pokemon, that's what they mean. Something that's already evolved. Just put them into stage three. So here we are. We're going to take a look at all of the research tasks needed to collect Celebi. And warning, spoiler alert. So if you do not want to know, I suggest that you click off the video now. With that said, let's go ahead and continue to see what we have. All right, so big shout out to everybody involved in this. Much appreciated. And there's quite some dialogue we're going to kind of just skip over that and just go straight to the objective. So first one is power up a Pokemon five times, which you see me do with my Blissey. Uh, battle a gym two times. Um, yeah, it's simple as that. It doesn't mean run through the whole gym. It just means run through one Pokemon. So what I did was there was a gym with a Blissey and then a another thing. I forgot. Uh, I battled the Blissey and then I battled, oh, Agron. And then it counted as two battles. So that was done. And then battle a raid. I went into a Tangela raid. That's all you have to do is literally put in your raid pass. And then that's it. I tried to do the Tangela raid. And I was such in a rush, you know. Celebi quest. Do it as quick as you can. I didn't know about the stall progresses uh, at this point. And of course, the raid was lagging. And I was like, you know what? Forget this. I'm out of here. So yeah, I did that as you've seen. All right. So this is going to be to a ripple and tie that's what this whole you know that's the theme here um and if you haven't noticed also so we're going to put some more dots together i'm going to scroll down so you can see these ones here but i'm going to talk for a second and tell you something off topic uh from what these quests are so the spawns we were like what's with the snubble and houndour you know we've never really seen a shiny drop without an increased spawn to some degree you know and we're all confused like oh okay maybe niantic is just finally trying to make it hard to get these um, which was not the case they had a plan all along so what they said a while ago in some sort of uh, blog it was a update that they said that when before Celebi comes there's going to be some disturbance with Pokemon you're going to see weird spawns and that's what we're seeing you're seeing an increase of Snubble and Houndour they're everywhere so that is the increased spawn right there it's um kind of going in with the Celebi quests, which is pretty cool. I like that. And not only them, but there's other spawns. I've seen a, a Houndour or a Houndoom, sorry, and um, other things like a Sunkern. So they're trying to help you there as far as the, the quests go, because I think you're going to have to evolve a Sunkern like 
or a gloom, which we're gonna come up here in just a second. So just wanted to get that out of the way. Uh, pretty neat to see what they were saving the Houndour and Snowball shiny increased spawns for this event. Make three new friends, evolve an evolved grass type Pokemon. So say you had a Brel Sprout and it was into a Weeping Bell. You just have to evolve that Weeping Bell into a Victory Bell. So anything that's already evolved once, that's grass type and it can evolve again, go for that. Catch three Pokemon three days in a row. Let's talk about it. People are saying, change your time, change your time. What do you think here, guys? I've been on it. I've been changing the time. I tried it. I was on zero. So I already caught my Pokemon for the day. I would assume it's going to happen every time you get your first day streak. So you can do it at midnight, right? Uh, so keep that in mind. That's going to be a big key if you're trying to get it as fast as you can or get through this specific uh, objective here. So I changed my time. And it worked the first time and I was like, oh boy, Ren, oh boy, let's go. I'm about to change my time two more times and uh, get through this, but it didn't work. So let me know if you found some sort of loophole, although I, I am not endorsing this. It's just, I'm trying to get it as quick as I can. I don't want to, try to find any loopholes or anything. But uh, as far as I've checked the sun or the, uh, <laughs> the sun trick, the uh, time trick, it only worked once if anything it didn't even work and i was it just wasn't loading quick enough and because i was changing my times it was messing with all the uh progress anyway use a sunstone to evolve a gloom or sunkern bingo once again save those evolution items remember and here we go once again use an use an item to evolve a pokemon so i'm pretty sure they're talking about evolution items and the zero is just a number undetermined they don't know what how many or anything like that so guys did I nail it or did I nail it, right? Bam, it feels so good to be right. All right, anyways, um, not trying to act arrogant. It's just pretty cool that I, you know, said, you know, I hope, hopefully you guys are all prepared. You know? Evolve an Eevee to an Espeon during the day. All right, walk 10 kilometers with an Eevee as your buddy to earn a candy. All right, so that one, uh, walk 10 kilometers. What? Hold on, I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> Prepping doesn't work. The Niantic was watching. Oh, uh, yeah. Walk 10 kilometers with the Eevee as your buddy to earn a candy. Oh, my gosh. I wonder if it would already work if you have an existing Eevee that already has 10 kilometers and you've earned a candy for already. And it'll just kind of, you know, appear that progress will just be done. If not, then I guess I can save my really good high IV that I was going to turn into an Umbreon, which we're going to see in just a second. And I'll just walk another Eevee that has low IVs or something, maybe like a shiny. Um, earn a gold Johto medal. <laughs> wow, I can't believe that they threw that 10 kilometer in there. Um, I wonder if, yeah, like I said, it's just going to work if you have it. Evolve an Eevee into an Umbreon at night. That seems like the only one for this one. Uh, number five, right? Yep, okay. Now let's go on to number six here. Like I said, we're not going to go over the dialogue. We'll save that for your, you know, your quest, or you can read it. Uh, catch zero, which means some sort of number, uh, days in a row. So I'm looking at, what are we seeing? Three for the one we're on right now for the, uh, probably going to be five. What number is this one? Six. It might be six or five. Okay. So an another stall progress there. Visit. Focus stop zero days in a row. So another stall. So make sure those are synced and you do not unsync those. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait for one or the other. Uh, use a certain amount of pineapple berries while catching Pokemon. All right. That one can be done in a few minutes. Maybe if it's not like 50. Uh, even if it's 50, you can still get it done quickly. Uh, you're going to have to get those pineapps. And I highly recommend opening gifts to try to get those. I uh, catch a certain amount of grass or psychic type Pokemon. Evolve a grass type Pokemon. All right. And then on to the last one here. To be added. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. I didn't know that that was going to say to be added. Okay, traders. So there you have the rundown on the quests. What do I see as the most... Um, to be honest, these are not difficult. The only thing about the Celebi quest that I see that is going to... It's just time consuming. They just want you to wait. It's not like you've all Gyarados or something. Um, what is it? The hardest one is probably going to be the evolution items for the people who do not have those. Because it says use items to evolve Pokemon 
and then certain amount of times. It could be like all evolution items. You're looking at like five, six uh, evolution items. Some people got it, some people don't. I definitely got enough to evolve like 20. So I am beautiful. All right, trainers, so pretty good stuff here. Thank you very much to GoHub and everybody who was involved in putting this together. Okay, really quick, we're just gonna look at the boxes. We're not gonna go over how much they're worth, but we're just gonna see. Look at that, 12 premium passes, golden. There you go. Is it worth it? Absolutely. 12 super incubators. I mean, just those, the premium passes and the incubators. If you're looking for those, go for it. The incense are cool if you're in somewhere where you don't have much spawns or you're trying to maximize your catches wherever you're at. Lucky eggs are lucky eggs, right? Uh, maybe they're going to increase the level cap soon, but who knows? And then you have the great box. Oh man, if only they put the star pieces in the other one. That would have been the ultimate, ultimate one to buy. This one is enticing you to buy one of these or two of them because of those star pieces it has raid passes and super incubators so it is worthwhile they threw in those incense like <laughs> all right so let's go and check the last one uh looks pretty okay i mean uh, if you need ultra balls it's not worth it for the raid passes you can just buy two instead of spending all that <laughs> well it's not all that you're what it, you got two of those so basically another 200 and 80 poke coins, so no big deal. Plus, you're getting two lucky eggs, two regular incubators, and then those 20 ultra balls. All right, that's pretty good. So, crazy spawns, look at that. We have snubbles everywhere, thanks to the Celebi arriving, which is making more sense, and clues been put together. So, now we understand what is going on with the low spawn rate before this event. So, let's go ahead and claim this, and claim this, and now catch a Pokemon three days in a row. Man! Okay, well, it's all right. It is what it is. You know how I say, just gonna have to wait. Um, so it doesn't look like it's difficult as we just seen. It's just a, a stalled progress. You're gonna have to wait. The only thing, like I said, that's gonna take a lot of time is the evolution items and possibly walking that uh, Eevee for the candies. Although I know the perfect spot to go, nice little houndour nest, and I'll just uh, walk that Hopefully it's not pouring rain and I usually can get my 10 kilometers within a few hours or less. So hopefully this video helped you out, trainers. It should have quite a bit of good information thanks to GoHub and everybody who put all that information together. And this is quite exciting. And honestly, I'm going to be real right now. I'm kind of happy that you can't just rush through it. It's a lot of pressure on me. And if you're wondering, what's with your obsession of trying to catch it so fast? Guys, I'm in the business of YouTube and I have to stay on top of it and I just want to bring you the latest and greatest when it starts right away. And with that said, traders, thank you for watching and I'll be catching you all next time.